What's up? How are you guys this week? We're filming on Monday instead of the usual Sunday because I was just so tired yesterday. And I didn't actually sleep last night either. I think I uh, might be drinking too much high calcium water. But I feel like I need to go home and take a nap. Because uh, we, got, we got back from Los Angeles uh, like Saturday afternoon. That was a nightmare. Uh, <laughs> my car battery died and I was stuck at the airport an extra two hours. But I'll save that story for another day. And uh, I was like worried about how much money I was spending in uh, California. And I was like, oh, well, it's not a big deal because I get all these charges. <laughs> as soon as I got back, someone charged back like $650 on two orders. And I was like, considering booking a flight right back to LA and taking another week vacation <laughs> in that context, it's just, it's so ridiculous. Because it's like, if people are gonna, you know, take advantage of my business and, and stuff like that, and, and just, outright steal money from me well if i'm dumping money down the drain why not just spend it on something that at least has you know some return on it but uh we got quite a bit of new stuff going on this week so i didn't really want to skip the vlog and then we should have some more stuff next week too but it might be a little loud because my guys are working and the the tape guns are horrifically ear piercing all right guys so yeah nice and loud right so we got so we got a few new products on the foods website uh, you guys like the barley malt vinegar a lot and a few of you asked for some of the other flavors so we got strawberry and cider vinegar too this is the 25 year aged balsamic i showed you guys this in a day of eating uh, i think someone already bought one uh, but this is the most affordable price online for this i'll talk more about this uh, maybe next week when it's a little quieter in here and then we got a few new jam flavors so I left these uh, on here just to give them more padding. We got wild mulberry jam, we got apricot jam, and this is the, the fig jam that we, we've constantly had. So, barley malt vinegar and fig jam we already had, but the strawberry vinegar, cider vinegar, aged balsamic, mulberry jam, apricot jam, those are all brand new products that we've never had before. Yeah, that balsamic is, is really, really expensive, but it's like a, a special product, it's like a gift. Yeah, it's not something you can really use every day. You can use it every day, but it's definitely not cheap. So I'll hop in the fridge here, show you guys some new stuff. Sent out about half the dairy so far. We're just getting through the orders this Monday. We have some ginger water kefir left. Just restocked some of the grape, as well as some of the water kefir grains. We restocked all of the cheeses over here. And then this is just some of the extra of the regular cheese delivery. There is a, a brand new cheese that we're selling. I mean, I only have two of them right now. I might get a few more. It's called uh, Torta del Casar. I mean, one of these is like 40 bucks, so it's not cheap, but this is a uh, raw sheep milk cheese. It's probably my favorite cheese in general because what you do is you cut the top of this off and it's really gooey and soft in the middle and you can dip bread in it. Um, so really, really delicious. Uh, nice to have over a few days as a very high source of, you know, very, very nutritious calories or like as a, as a party spread or something special for dinner. This is, this is really, really, it's super funky, super fermented. Again, probably the fav my favorite cheese that I've ever had to my memory. It's from Spain, actually. Got all the fresh meat in over here. Uh, roast beef, freshly made every week, nice and medium rare. I'll probably take some of this home for dinner. Uh, this is the fresh local ground beef we got. And then I think we got some steaks over here. Not too many fresh steaks this week, but we did have, uh, we did get fresh blood in. I uh, actually have uh, quite a bit of fresh blood. So did run out of butter and the farmer didn't send any of that or heavy cream this week. So uh, we should have it next week. And there are a few orders that might be delayed. So hop in the freezer. So over here, I made something really special for you guys. Organic demi-gloss. So if you guys are unfamiliar with demi-gloss, it's basically a heavily, heavily reduced beef stock with a lot of flavor, caramelized vegetables added. Nothing like this exists online. There's nothing made with high quality organic ingredients without fillers or additives. Uh, this is actually $12 on the website and honestly, uh, <laughs> It's probably not enough for an eight ounce jar because it cost me like over $1,500 in ingredients just to make like 200 of these. So I think I might be breaking even on this, but it's a super special product. 
it's like even more concentrated than our steak sauce. So if you guys know what demi gloss is, this is really special stuff. Still got about half of the pork shares left, so we reduced the price on that because we ran out of a few things. Plenty of collagen extract. We got a small amount of the beef stock concentrate. Uh, the new beef barley stew is really delicious. Uh, hopefully some of you guys try it and leave me a review. We restocked the beef in bone broth as well. If you guys want the plain beef stew. I think we actually ran out of the, uh, the Vichy Soi. So I don't know if I'm gonna make more of that to be honest. We have a lot of liverwurst back in stock. I might give that away again one week. I kind of want to do a liverwurst giveaway, but first I wanted to do a, a collagen broth giveaway, but that's kind of expensive, so I don't know if I really want to do that. We got a lot of ice cream now, guys. Plenty of vanilla in stock. Uh, this is the cookie dough ice cream. We restocked beef heart and beef liver. You guys were missing those two. Uh, we got some more in this week. Restocked the ground venison as well. And in addition to the, the sliced meat for fajitas, we have the thin shaved beef for Philly cheesesteaks. Still a decent amount of uh, these lamb chops, but guys, once, uh, once we run out of these, they're probably gone. So keep that in mind, these affordable lamb chops. Over here, we got in a, a fresh batch of the maple pecan ice cream. Guys, please leave reviews on this stuff. I, you know, I'm, I'm killing myself making this, so uh, dealing with this, so. I want to make sure it's worth it. Strawberry ice cream plenty, and then the chocolate ice cream as well. You guys, a lot of this stuff, it, it's very difficult to make the recipes, the ingredients, it's super expensive. So I want to make sure that you guys are getting a good product. Otherwise, like, it's, it's what am I wasting my time going crazy for? Uh, I think that's everything in the, in the freezer. I didn't send out like a, a weekly newsletter this week, but um, I'll send that out to update you guys on everything. Oh, um, we, we do have, four pound boneless roast now. So in addition to like regular bone-in prime rib, which I th think that this is boneless. So we have boneless prime rib and then there should be a bone-in prime rib around here somewhere. Someone bought like a, a bone-in prime rib roast and complained that like <laughs> there was a bone in it. So I figured we could try doing some boneless ones too and see if you guys like that instead. Organ supplements, we might do some new stuff uh, in, in a month or two. Wi-Fi shielding, we're still waiting on the restock from the tailor. Uh, the foods website, we should have a few new things. Oh, uh, farmer finally had time to puff our grains for us. We got a lot of rice. Uh, the popcorn didn't turn out too good, so we're probably gonna have to throw it out. Thankfully, the white rice is still good. So we got plenty of that, and we're gonna be making a lot of more Rice Krispie treats. And honestly, this might be the only product we end up selling. Organic puffed white rice because brown rice is too high in arsenic and there's really no product like this on the market you can buy. Uh, these oats we got, uh, which I thought would be cool to try, they're just like really burnt. Like I tried some yesterday, the the, the burnt flavor is just too prominent, so uh, we'll have to figure out what, what we need to do if we can even make them. I'm not sure if he has to lower the temperature or something or if it's not possible to puff them at the low temperature, so uh, I'm not really sure on that, but at least we have the puffed rice. Well, I'm losing, I don't have any patience today. This camera's fogging up because we're in the freezer. All right, guys, got a few reviews to read, or more than a few. I think there's like over 30 of them. Uh, Five-star review for the 100% grass-fed Wagyu beef tallow. Tastes amazing. First time trying any tallow, and this is top-tier stuff. Smells so rich and mouth-watering. When I fried eggs in it, it will be definitely coming back for more. Uh, we got a five-star review for the organ grind. I did not expect this. I made burgers to try this meat blend for the first time. Didn't know what to expect taste-wise. I've had organ meats before, and depending how to prepare and cook, it can be tricky. But this ground beef blend rocked my absolute socks off. Bold beef flavor, rich and juicy even when cooking to well temperature. It's the closest I've come to a premium burger at a steakhouse. Well, a little more of that review, but if you guys like that, definitely try the best burger blend. That's even tastier. Uh, we got a five-star review for Frankie's Liquid Gold Steak Sauce. Should be in every single steakhouse. Best sauce for my shaved sirloin and raw cheese sandwiches, all from the website. Cannot get enough of it. Going to be going through two bottles a week between steak and potatoes. It is that good. Now uh, we got a five star review for the eggs. Super eggs, the best tasting, healthiest eggs ever. 
Five star review for organic raw cookie dough. Best cookie dough recipe. Had to stop myself from buying these for a while because I'd eat the whole batch. Absolute delicious and high quality cookies. Made some for Christmas and my family ate them all. Uh, another five star review for the eggs. Amazing, nothing compares to the quality of eggs Frankie provides for us. You'll never match the quality of these eggs you get at the supermarket. Uh, five star, another five star review for the steak sauce. Best steak sauce ever. Frankie does it again. Has a very rich, savory flavor like no other steak sauce on the market. I've been a customer for a couple years now, and Frankie never fails to disappoint. Always looking forward to Frank's new and creative ideas, and this one is absolutely golden. Uh, five star review for the Vichy Soie. Delicious, very underrated product in my opinion. Enjoyed this in the winter with a loaf of sourdough bread. Rich and creamy potato. We might do it one more time. I just like, I don't really, like a lot of the stuff I make, like, it's not selling that crazy and the quality is so high and it's it's like so expensive to to make it that it's not really worth it we might do that one more time though with the new equipment five star review for the macadamia nut butter this is on the foods website wonderful macadamia nut butter absolutely love this stuff can't find anything close to the quality tasted so good i ate the whole jar in a week and ordered more lol thank you for offering an amazing product yeah i, I mean macadamia nut butter is probably the only healthy nut butter there is <laughs> someone left me a one star google review why is Buddy doing so much plastic surgery? Looks like a creep. Great products, though. <laughs> God help me. Uh, another five-star review for the steak sauce. Symphony of Flavor. One of the best sauces I've tasted. It's beautifully full of flavor with vibrant bursts of umami tartness. I wouldn't call it tart. I would love to see this with a tad more garlic, but I'm biased when it comes to garlic. Keep on keeping it. No, I actually, I actually made sure that I didn't put too much garlic in that sauce. I, I like specifically tried to be careful with the garlic. Okay, we got a, oh, another review for the steak sauce. Very good, good healthy ingredients and amazing taste. Five star review for the pasteurized Iberico pork bacon. Girlfriend approved, my girlfriend and I like the quality. I also point out that these are thick slices, something you will really never see at the store. Just put a little seasoning with pepper and you're golden. Another review for the macadamia nut butter. Creamy goodness, I love dipping it or spreading it on fruit. Five star review for the chicken eggs. Delicious eggs, best I've ever had, working on my second gross of them. Uh, then we got a five star review for the organic artichokes, which are also on the foods website. Yummy artichoke spread, tastes great and goes on everything from toast to crackers or bread. Would definitely recommend. Uh, then we got a review for the, the Frankie's Liver Detox Smoothie on OregonSupplements.com. Best smoothie ever. This is the best smoothie blend I've ever tasted. I enjoy working out, so this is a great way of getting in a caloric meal before the gym. Tastes so good. <laughs> Four scoops. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, oh, another review for the smoothie. So delicious. I agree with the review before mine. This is by far the best tasting smoothie out there. Don't change a thing at all. I'm using it as a breakfast meal replacement, and it keeps me pretty full. I do the four scoops. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm glad you guys like my Rich Piana joke. With eight ounces of pure coconut milk to give it a little more calories and thickness. I am in love. LOL. Four scoops. Oh, yeah. Um, we've got a pretty long review for the A2A2 A2 raw cheeses, uh, but he likes them. I'm not going to. Oh, it's a very big review. I'm not going to read the whole thing. Uh, another five-star review for the pasteurized Iberico pork bacon. Best bacon. This is the best bacon I've ever tasted. It's rich, thicker, and just two strips can make a meal. I've tried the box stores online for pasteurized meats, but you end up always having to buy stuff you don't really want. Then when you add what you want, the cost soars. It's restrictive. At Frankie's, you can get exactly what you want. No more, no less. Actually, yeah, I like doing stuff a la carte. People just order what they want. Uh, then we got some reviews for... Uh, the Oregon Supplements products. Five star review for the Lemon Light Organic Electrolyte Drink Mix. Clean electrolytes. Great product, works really good, especially after being sick or a hard gym session. I don't care for the stevia taste, so I just cover it up with some organic sugar. 10 out of 10, and it doesn't compare to anything out there. Yeah, it's a really special product. Another thing I'm not sure I want to make more of, but we'll see. Uh, we got a five star review for the Activated Charcoal. So I've been testing out this product for a while, and there's no question about how great it is. I take it after every meal, and it really does make a big difference when paired with other supplements. For those with joint inflammation, it may also be helpful as I'm constantly giving them to family and friends. In a matter of a few days, the dreadful joint pain is gone. And that's with them enjoying their shitty-ass meals, lol. Five-star review for the macronutrient digestive enzymes. Amazing. I highly recommend this to anyone with any gut issues. Just make sure you're also doing the activated charcoal, mastic, and water kefir greens. 
Frankie's protocol truly does work if you're persistent and highly motivated to change your situation. Uh, we got a five star view for the vitamin D liquid sun. Taste the difference, lol. If you're like me who works graveyard in the medical field or any profession you need this, it has truly helped with my severe vitamin D deficiency. I pair with Frankie's K2 and vitamin C daily in small amounts and it has made a dramatic difference in my lab work. I refuse to take the high mega dose prescriptions of vitamin D my idiotic doctors. So this is my go-to and will be for the remainder of my life, lol. Thanks, love. Yeah, vitamin D, a lot of dangerous doses out there for sure. Uh, back to the foods reviews. Uh, pasture-raised chicken eggs. Resounding yes, my friends, family, and I love these eggs. Multiple time repeat buyer. Uh, Five-star view for the Rice Krispies treats. In terms of flavor and ingredients, the dairy butter Rice Krispies are far better than regular Kellogg's Rice Krispie treats. I eagerly anticipate buying more of these in the future and heartily recommend them. I mean, even if you compare the ingredients in those compared to, like, the organic Rice Krispie treats available on the market, ours are, are way better, way cleaner, less inflammatory. Final review for the raw sauerkraut. Wonderful sauerkraut. Actually tastes sweet. Happy to know that it's lacto-fermented, not vinegar. Yeah. Uh, we should have some more sauerkraut in stock uh, over the weekend. All right, guys. That's it for the vlog this week. I guess not like a crazy amount of stuff to show you guys, but uh, we did have a few new things, and... We should be getting a few more new things next week, and then over the next few months, as usual, just doing some new products for you guys. Yeah, so on frankdestefano.com, you guys can see all the businesses, Frankie Syringe Meat, the website, Frankie Syringe Foods, all the non-perishable stuff, and then we got organ supplements for the supplements, Wi-Fi shielding, as I said, guys, hopefully we get some more stuff, everything back in the next two weeks, and then some lovely noises, bro, I'm losing my mind today, I don't have the patience for this, uh, and then... On the naturals, we just, I didn't speak about it today, but on Frankie's Naturals, we just uh, came out with the cavity cure uh, formula thing. And maybe we'll try to do some new stuff with the naturals and get more of our own products in. But before uh, we both lose our hearing, myself and my lovely viewers, uh, we'll wrap it up for this week. So, as always, thanks again for joining, guys, and uh, I'll see you for the next video.